Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to discuss about the basics of Islam for non Muslim brothers, which will give a clear picture about Islam. As there is, there is a lot of misconception being spread about Islam, which gives a, a wrong picture or a wrong information about Islam. So, first of all, basically, there are two teachings of Islam. First is about Tawheed, about oneness of God. Second is about Akhirat or Akhirah, which is hereafter or life after death, next life. So first we'll discuss about Tawheed. Tawheed which is oneness of God. Quran says in Surah Nahl, Surah number 16, Ayat number 36, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ بَعَسْنَا Allah says, وَلَقَدْ بَعَسْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أَنِ اعْبُدُ اللَّهِ That we have sent to every people a Rasul, a messenger, preaching them or teaching them, أَنِ اعْبُدُ اللَّهِ That worship one Allah, one God. وَجْتَنِبُ التَّغُوتِ And eschew all false worship, all false deities, meaning anything which you worship, by your own imagination or by if you worship idols so taghut is anything besides god if you are worshiping whether it be idol or anything so you have to eschew taghut and worship one god only who is beyond comprehension quran also says in surah baqarah surah number 2 ayat number 21 allah says ya ayyuhanna su'budu rabbakum ke o men Worship your Lord. Ya ayyuhanna su'budu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum. The one who has created you. Walladhina min qablikum. And those before you. La'allakum tattaqoon. So that you will become righteous. So worship the one who created you. Who created you? God Almighty. One God. Who is called in Arabic as Allah. So you worship one God. So this is the basic teaching of Tawheed in Islam. That you worship one God, which is about the oneness of God, Tawheed. Thee alone we worship, thee alone we ask for help, thee alone we beseech. So we worship God alone, we ask for help God alone. Ultimately, God only helps. So we, our prayers are due to Allah, we pray to Allah. So, Thee alone we worship, thee alone we ask for help, thee alone we beseech. In Islam, the greatest or the uh, sin which Allah will never forgive is shirk. Shirk is associating partners with God, associating partners with Allah. That is shirk. Quran says in Surah Nisa, Surah number 4, Ayat number 48, Allah says, Allah says, Allah that Allah will never forgive the sin of associating partners with him. Besides, besides that, whatever he wishes, he may forgive. So Allah will can forgive anything, but he will not forgive he will not, never forgive the sin of shirk, which is associating partners with him. So we must never associate partners with him. Inna shirk zulmun azim. Quran says, in the shirk ala zulmun azim, that shirk, that associating partner with God, it is the highest wrongdoing. It is a great wrongdoing. Zulmun azim, it is a great zulm, great wrongdoing. So, shirk is the biggest sin in Islam. It is a major sin. So, which Allah will never forgive. Further, the second basic thing, which is about akhirah that is next life hereafter allah says in surah mulk surah number 67 ayat number 2 allah says alladhi khalaqal mauta wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala that allah has created death and life to test which of you are good in deeds so allah has created this life it is a test we are undergoing so that allah may know who which of us are righteous which of us are good so this life is a test for hereafter Quran also says in Surah Ali Imran, Surah number 3, Ayat number 185, Allah says, Kullu nafsin That every soul shall have a taste of death. 
ان نمت و فون اجور اکم یوم القیامہ اینڈ دا فائنل ریکمپنس شال بی آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ و منظ و حضیح ان ناری و اود خیل الجنت افقد فاز ہو ایور از سیو فرام دا فائر اینڈ از انٹرڈ ان ٹو جن ان ٹو پیراڈائز فقط فاز ایز ان ڈیٹ سکسیڈ سو دا ون ہو از ایڈمیٹیڈ ان ٹو پیراڈائز ہی ہیز سکسیڈ و مل حیات الدنیا المتا الغرور سو واٹ از دس لائف از بٹ انجوائمنٹ آف ڈیلیوژن ڈسپشن سو وی ہیو ٹو لیو دس لائف رائچیسلی اینڈ پریپیئر فار دا نیکسٹ لائف اینڈ ہرٹ نو باڈی ہار نو باڈی ان دس لائف سو دیٹ از دا سیکنڈ بیسک ٹیچنگ آف اسلام دیٹ یو پریپیئر یور سیلف فار دا اپ کمنگ لائف وچ از آخرت اور لائف آفٹر ڈیتھ ہیئر آفٹر سو یہ یو لیو ود دس کانشیسنیس دیٹ یو آر ٹو میٹ اللہ و علمو نو دیٹ ان کم ملاقو دیٹ یو ول میٹ ہم یو ول بی لیونگ یور لائف ود دس کانشیسنیس دیٹ یو آر ٹو میٹ گاڈ دیٹ یو آر ٹو میٹ ہم اینڈ یو ول بی ہولڈ اکاؤنٹیبل فار واٹ یو ڈڈ ان دس لائف سو ٹرائی ٹو لیو وی ٹرائی ٹو لیو اوور لائف رائچیسلی اینڈ وی بی اپ رائٹ ٹرائی ٹو بی اپ رائٹ ایز مچ ایز وی کین فردر what usually people criticize about islam they are actually about the uh, usually social laws certain social laws which can be interpreted variously and are interpreted variously so only that certain social aspects or s- certain social laws are criticized but as i told they can be interpreted variously and have been interpreted uh, accordingly matlab they so these laws are interpreted differently also variously so but what islam wants islam wants uh, in the society islam wants total justice to create a society which is a just society allah says in quran in surah nisa surah number 4 ayat number 58 allah says wa idha hakamtum bayna an-nasi an tahkumu bil adl that when you judge between people judge with justice so you have to do justice so we should be a society we should make a society which is just as a whole as a whole we must be just where there is no racism where there is no casteism casteism where there is no inequality or discrimination just be on the basis of color race and religion and everyone should have their rights 